Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework tutorial. This is our part number 20. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about select method with some conditional methods. From the last two videos, we are discussing all about models based concept. We had seen how can we create, how can we load and all about its configurations. In the last video, also we had discussed about insert method, insert batch method, update as well as delete method. Now inside this video, we are going to implement all about finding data methods. Back to editor. This is our site controller. Now inside this controller, let's create a method something public function. Let's get data for and inside this method first of all we need to create the instance of user model so let's say user model equal to user model let's use the simplest method to find all the data what we have inside our table so find all data let's say data equal to user model and we are going to use find all method Let's write or use PRE tag print R and we are going to use this data variable. Let's create a route for this method back to routes.php. Copy this line, pasting it here. And if I rename this route something get hyphen data hyphen foo and the method we have created with the name of get data foo and this method is inside site controller so what I will do simply copy that back to browser and if I type index.php this is our route name pressing enter now as we can see that this has listed all the data what we have inside our database table now if suppose we want only this data it means where id equals to 2 so how can we add our where method with this id equal to 2 condition because this time we don't want this all data set we want only this single result data back to editor go to site controller so what i will do either we can use directly or where method here so let's say where id equals to to save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting only a single data result but this time also we can see that we are getting as here as an index value it is because we have used find all method so if we know that we are going to get a specific data so instead of using find all if we type first method then it is going to find that first specific record save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that we have no index type method instead we have only data now here if suppose we are getting our data like id name email phone number but this time we don't want all these fields inside this result Instead, what we want, we want only this name field as well as email field. So how can we restrict? We can by using some special chaining methods. So what I will do, I am going to add one more methods inside this chaining methods list and that method is something called select. So we want something name and we want only the email value. So we need to specify the column values here and if we save these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that inside our result only we are getting this time the name and the email value. Back to editor. Let's add one more column here called id and instead of using where condition what we want get rid of that and we are going to use called find all method save these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all the data what we have inside our table the columns we have called id name and email 
Now let's say we are going to make order by descending. It means the last ID what we have inserted called 12, we want the result should be first. Back to editor. Let's add one more method inside this method scanning and this is something order by simply specify called id and here we need to type called descending this is the keyword for descending now if we want to make ascending we need to use the keyword called asc save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that the 12th number id is the first data inside this result set if i back to editor now here we have used several methods called select method, order by method and find all method. This is also known as method chaining. Instead, we have the alternative option to write all these methods one by one. What I mean to say, if I make comment this line, let's say that we want user model to select, let's say ID, name and email. Next we want call user model we have something let's say where condition inside this we want id equals to 2. This is the second method we have used and in the third we need to find or select let's say, all the data. So what I will do as we know that we have used where condition which is going to find a specific record so that's why we have used the first method. I'm going to store our data inside this data variable. Keep in mind, this time instead of chaining, we have used three different lines. First is for the select, where and first method. Save these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that the same output we are getting. Let's go ahead and make this comment. Instead of finding one data, Let's say user model, select, let's ID, name, email. Next we want something user model, order by, and we want that is ID should be descending order, user model, and we are going to use find all method, and also after finding all the data, we are going to store inside this data variable. Save these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that output remains same. Back to editor. Now we have issued so far about the select method, where method, order by, find all and first method. Now I am going to use one more method for the conditional methods and this is something let's say user model and this will be something we are in. It means that multiple IDs we are going to specify here. Means we want something that ID equals to 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. Means on the basis of multiple IDs we want all the data. While using this where condition, as we can see that we have only a single ID, but this time we are going to specify more than one ID. Now go inside this where in methods, specify all about the column name and in the second value, we are going to make an array and we need to tell the values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the IDs. By the help of these IDs, we are going to match with this ID column and after matching this, we want to get ID, name and the email values of all the data. Save this change, go and reload this page and here as we can see that we have 2, 3 and 4. We are not getting here 5, let me check that. If I back to table, click on TBL users and inside our table, we don't have ID like 1 and 5. Now if we mention about 7 and 9, back here, let's say instead of 1, this time we are going to specify about 7, 9, save these changes, go and reload this page. Now we are getting all the IDs what we have specified inside where in method. 
So successfully guys, we had now discussed all about the database connectivity approaches like we had seen all about raw queries, query builder class and finally we had seen all about that is how can we use models in Code Igniter 4. If we go to the next videos like from the next part, we will use the model space concept because it is handy and quite useful because of these available methods. If I back to editor, sorry, our slide, and if I write some pieces of code, something like user model, this is our model instance, select, here we need to specify our columns. This is all about using where, and here we have called find all method. This is all about what we call it is method chaining. Now, if we want to separate in a single line so what we will do user model here we need to use call select method next we will have called user model this is all about where method and finally here we have called user model and this is all about find all method now next after getting all the data we have stored inside this data variable. When we run our query by the help of this first way or this second way, we will get the same output. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.